storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. First things first, we gotta talk about Tiffany Hot Coochie Haddish, Tiffany Hot Wing Haddish, Tiffany Hot Breath Haddish, Tiffany uh, Hashish Haddish. Uh, Tiffany really lived true to her last name because she was smoking on that ganja when she uh, got arrested in Atlanta this past weekend. Now, here's the crazy thing. I looked it up on TMZ. They talking about she got arrested in Peachtree City. Peachtree City? I said, y'all mean Peachtree Corners? Now, them heifers that wrote up that article over there in L.A., they don't know, you know, the cities of Atlanta like that. But Peachtree Corners is like right next to Norcross, right by Duluth. So, I think that's technically Northeast Atlanta. Anyway, my whole point is Tiffany. You out here getting arrested for a DUI? Do you know anytime I hear about these celebrities, rich people getting arrested for DUIs, I want to put my foot so far up your ass that it reaches your lungs. I want to put my foot so far up your behind that it reaches your brain and hopefully knocks some funny back into your ass or funny for the first damn time so that, that way your ass ain't gonna be bombing on stage no more. Is this the reason why you be bombing on stage, Tiffany? Is it all the bleach going to your skull? Good, well, now, well, it can't be that because my girl Lunel stays bleach bleached up and stays hella damn funny. I'm still, still trying to figure out why Lunel is not 30 times bigger than what she is. And yet Tiffany went up to start on so damn quick. And even in every damn role she get in, we still don't damn believe it. Because it don't never sound like the character. It sounds like Tiffany. Is this why Carmen left you, Tiffany? Anyway, let me tell y'all the story. So they say she was on a roll making crazy stops. Now, she must have got that good good out here. She must have came down here to Atlanta and got that good, good, that homegrown. Because she live out in California, I thought. So they got all them dispensaries. But it ain't nothing like Trey Dog growing weed in his house and then selling you that and smoking that versus what you get from uh, Sarah at a dispensary in Beverly Hills. It, ne it never hits the same. It never hits the same when you find a good Jamaican. I ain't saying I did this. I'm just saying this is what some people do. You find a good Jamaican in your neighborhood that grew up uh, growing the stuff because uh, you, Jamaican dude told me at the gym that he been growing, you know, the ganja since he was eight years old. Is that what y'all do in Jamaica? He said that was just a common thing to do. And here, low key, they healthier than us. So we should all be. I'm just, I'm just saying. Give me some ganja. Anyway, who want to have a ganja party with me? Damn, that would be a good seminar for us. Sip and smoke with Storm. Somebody emailed me that I said that. Somebody DM me or email me that I said that. That's a money maker. We need to do that. Anyway, we ain't talking about me. Because I don't be bombing on stage like you, Tiffany. Be talking about you. All right, so they said that you fell asleep at the wheel, but you only fell asleep at the wheel after making several stops on the road. And I can understand because when you are inebriated or intoxicated, not that I drive that way, but when you are, you that that stop line, it be blurry. The stop lights, the, the, your vision be doing this. You be thinking the stop light here, you stop way back here because you don't want everybody to know you high, but you look high. Like, see, if you just acted normal, we wouldn't actually know but you can't act normal because your ass not in your right mind although we have been waiting for you to be in your right mind since we met you tiffany i mean you know truly your career is literally like finally letting someone in the special olympics win allegedly now here's my point right you got too much doggone money to be doing this. Thank you. Somebody just DM me that. Thank you. You got too much doggone money to be doing this. You should always have a driver. You should not be getting uh you should not be out here getting caught up like that. And at the very least, you need to be in the Uber Black. This is why Common left, because you ain't got no damn common damn sense. He got tired of babysitting you. I told y'all a PhD and a remedial person is not going to work. I told I, but for whatever reason, Common can't commit to no woman anyway, so it was never gonna work. But I I I'm 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 just I'm I'm I'm, I'm paying a story now let me get to the part that's actually important because i don't really give a damn about your her dui she claims that she has been depressed because bob saget died and they were close friends even though i ain't never heard him claim you'll put you up on nothing important how close was you and bob saget before or after the homelessness her dog died i actually i have sympathy for that her friend carl craig died and, you know, Common broke up with her. And the reason he broke up with her ain't what he told her. So she's still trying to get over that. So she has had a lot going on in life. And I am here for it. But damn that. 
Her bond to get out was $1,666. I'm going to say that again. Her bond to get out of jail. Let me say like these Atlanta uh, Atlanta ninjas. Her bond. Her bond to get out was $1,666. Y'all don't see the Jakuma Tati numbers? Y'all don't see that this is a humiliation ritual? Y'all don't see it? They have to put it in our face in some kind of way. And it just so happened that her bond is $1,666. Does anybody else see it or is it just me? This was Jakuma Tati all day long. I don't care what y'all say. This wasn't no major ritual, but this is a ritual. And here's the thing. Between her shaving off her head, between this situation here, the breakup with Common, she is due, she, she's trying to reach another level. I feel like she's trying to get into other doors that her talent ain't going to get her in because nobody believes her as an actress. and I'm, As a serious actress, excuse me. As a, as a funny actress, she's fine. Even though she gets on people's nerves, which is why you didn't make it over there on the weigh-in show because they said you, you literally acted like a kid. Okay, anyway. Anyway, with that being said, $1,666. Y'all tell me what you think. But I thought about it too, Tiffany. You fell asleep at the wheel. Well, honey... At least you know what it feels like now to watch one of your stand-up shows. <laughs> we be falling asleep too. We be laying at your shit like, damn, did they put some edibles in this chicken? No, it's just Tiffany talking. Allegedly. Now, allegedly, allegedly. Yep. And she had three, fr three friends die. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's Storm Show. It's storm show.